So I have here titanium white, tellurium blue, and cadmium red medium. So today we're going to add some pattern to this uh, wrap that um, we did last week. So from what I'm seeing here, I have some darks and some lights, light areas. I would like actually, you know, to maybe before I do anything, um, put a bit of highlights, just a bit where there's a strong light using titanium buff, just a bit. If I take the tiny buff with my brush, brown brush, and I come here and I add just a bit, kind of like that, where there's a strong, strong highlight. The tiny buff with water, so it's not heavy, eh? It's like a glaze. Otherwise, it will be so heavy, your titanium, the titanium buff, it will take over. It's just a, it's like a soft, soft glaze. And it's not everywhere. Only where there's a strong highlight or strong light. This will help me when I start putting the, um, the pattern, it will help me with you know, figuring out where the pattern should be light and where it should be dark. I'm not even worried about the highlight being uh, accurate or, you know, clean or it's just a guideline for me. Soft, soft, really, I mean, soft. Uh, Did you add white to that? No, 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 just, just, just water. Titanium buff and water. I don't want it to be strong. It doesn't need to be strong highlight. I'm leaving the darks where they are. I'm not touching them. I'm just adding a bit of highlight in here. Dries darker too because it's like a glaze, so it's not too heavy. Okay. All right. Do you want me to give you time to do this? Shall I pause? A little bit, yes. Thank you. So I'm going to start with the blue. This is cerulean blue. 
cadmium red medium, this is just orange, cadmium orange, and white. So I'm going to start with the blue. I'm going to take blue, just blue, cerulean blue. Yeah. Let's push this a little bit. I'm going to take cerulean blue, put it here. And make it more like a glaze. Don't don't go too hard, too too thick. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna come here, and another one right there. And you see, look at this right now. In a minute, I'm gonna put the blue over here too. Look at the difference. See that this is this is the same blue cerulean blue I'm using. I'm not using another blue, but because this is dark and this is light, the color is darker inside and it's lighter outside. Nice. This is like a glaze, okay? Don't go too thick and not too thin either. So kind of gauge it. So now you see why sometimes grisaille is a good technique for something like that. Mm -hmm. Because all I'm doing is I'm glazing and it's just giving me dark and light without having to put white and, you know, without having, I don't have to darken anything. That's kind of neat. Yeah. Yeah, it is good. Now, at one point, I would take now, because it's drying darker, I would take a bit of white, put it in my blue. And because I know this is highlighted, I'm just going to put a bit of lighter blue in here. because I don't want white. I'm going to take cerulean only. Put some water in it, just a bit of water in here. Sorry, I wasn't looking when you put the whites. Where did you put the white? The white and cerulean blue? Here. Just on the tip? Oh, okay. And those ones that are more, you know, um, they catch the light more. Okay. Um, and this is a guideline for me too. Uh, when I do something like that, when I do, um, you know, when I do folds, I do it in one color first, and then I put the, you know, one color, you know, black and white, whatever I want to put in there. It doesn't, you know, if it's a green background, I'll do the green. I'll do light and, and dark green um, so I can see the folds. And then I put the, uh, I put the, uh, the, the pattern on. 
And that would be a guideline for me. I know that this is lighter here and this is darker here. So it's easy for me. I can highlight, put white with my pattern, with my color in here and then leave the color just the way it is down here if I want. Um, it's much easier. I, I have a feeling this should be a, a different color, but that's okay. You have a feeling why? No, uh, this blue should be a different blue, not this blue. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Looks good. It would look good with the with the um, with the reds. Is the base of the of the scarf uh, blue? The base here of the whole thing? Yeah. No. no, I'm just trying to figure out what you're doing. You're adding blue I'm in the fold. Adding, okay, so what I'm doing is, I'm just adding the blues I'm seeing here. Oh, okay, okay. I'm seeing here. Okay. So in a minute, I'm gonna be, <clears throat> or, reds and purples and you know just kind of play around with this so what you just put in was just straight cerulean blue yes cerulean blue and white and first cerulean blue with no white and then i added some <coughs> no at the top i mean at the top was it just cerulean blue yes just cerulean blue and it's more like a you know again like a glaze it's not very heavy not very uh dark or or thick it's not thick Okay, let's just put one here too. Are you uh, recording, Leo? Yeah. You have a question? No. She is. Just a mask. She is. I thought she was.
That looks really nice. Hmm? It looks really nice. Yeah, it's very, nice. very nice. Yeah. All right, okay, ready for the next color? Sure. All right, red. Take red and put some water in that too. So I don't glaze with your brush. Put some red in here. Is it a stripe again? Yeah, yeah, well, there's a band. Yeah, there's a band. I'm just gonna finish the band and then we'll move it on to... And it goes all the way around? Like the blue, around the blue? Yes, so it's down here. Then up, out here. And again, I'm, I'm having doing the same thing. You see where there's dark? My red is dark already. And over here. Uh, put some in here too. Then I'm going to come to this side. I'm going to put another band here. And I'm really using the same color, just the same color, even if I do this. It's really, really a nice technique. Wow. Now you know what I mean when I say glazing, because uh, I mean uh, grisaille, which is, you know, we've not, I'm not changing like color, it's the same. I'm not putting white, I'm not doing anything, but just this is dark, this is light, this is light, this is dark. The dark, what are you doing with the dark? Nothing, just keep it just the way it is, nothing. As it is? And because of the brown, it looks darker? Yes. Oh. Yes. Because the color underneath is darker, dark already. OK. Now, I mean, I don't know if you, you want, but um, we could put some, let's say, take some uh, blue, mix it with Red, we get that kind of an interesting dark purple. And we can do another line here. What color is that? Blue, blue and red. What color? Blue and red. Oh, blue and red, okay. And you can put stripes, okay. You do the same. Take red. Take here. So we're working with red and um, 
glue. I'm going to mix them together just a bit, not too much. And I'm going to put on the hat. Put this one, let's highlight it a bit with white on this side. The, uh, the red band at the top, is it just um, pure red or did you use no, red and blue? Yeah, I mixed a bit of blue in the red. Red and blue. Uh, no, I'm talking about the top of her shawl. Here? Yes. Is that just red or red and blue? No, just red. Oh, just red. down here so we're all working on the shawl now I, I would like to highlight this a bit more where the red is but I'm not sure I want to use let me see could use pink I have pink will be fine added white to my bed, just in here, not everywhere, just in here. I'm going to do the same over here. Let's play around a bit with this. Red and blue. And I'll put a nice purple. And put white. What are you doing now? I'm just putting like like dots of purple in there. You'll see it in a minute when I start when I put the when I highlight. You can't see them right now. Just this kind of dots of purple. You can hardly see it because it's so close to the 
color of the um, all the stuff. White uh, dots layer. No purple in here. There's a, like a light purple. So I mixed red and blue, and I put white in it. And now I'm I'm putting dots of I put dots of purple, and now in between, I'm putting uh, white and titanium buff in between. Just have to be careful when you put uh, those dots, especially down here. You don't want to use white, use just a team number. Sorry, the dots were, what did you use again? Okay, so what I did is I mixed blue and red. Yeah. And in it and I put dots in here of purple, light purple. In here. You can hardly see them. And then I took, I got white and titanium buff and I put dots in between those, the, the purple ones, in between white kind of light. So titanium buff and white. Yes. Well, we still have to do the tassels. We have to do the whole thing. We have mm -hmm. to do that. Don't you want to put up something on it, like colors? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I don't want to forget the tassels because I really like the tassels. I like them too. OK. Let me know when you're ready. Should I pause a bit, recording? Yeah. Pause. I'm gonna take cerulean blue and make it into a blaze, so a bit transparent. And we're gonna come here and, and randomly put um, kind of a, a pattern in here or a movement. Just blue, right? Just blue. Yeah. So when you're putting the blue, so make sure that you are keeping an eye on the fold. So you don't want to take your pattern all the way from here to here to here on the same level. Yeah. The pattern is higher here, lower in here. Where there's a, a, a a, you know, a dark area in here, right there. Now, again, I'm gonna come up and do this.
you still see, we can still see all of the folds, all of the highlights, all, all of the darks, but there's a pattern on top now. Yeah. I'm gonna do the same now. Well, actually, before I start doing, putting the reds in here, I'm gonna take um, easier for you to see it at this point. I'll take white, put it in my blue in the blue that is glazed. So it's a glaze, right? It's not heavy, it's not thick. And I'm gonna come here and where I see a strong highlight, I'm gonna put that strong blue, highlighted blue, where I see the fold, the strongest fold, you know, the strongest uh, highlight in the fold. Wow, hmm? that's amazing. Hmm? So you're, you're taking lighter blue and putting it where there's light? Yes, where the, there's a strong fold. There's a light, like you can see, the lightest part of the fold. The lightest part of the fold, this is where I'm highlighting my blue, right okay. here, all, of, all here where I have the, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. That makes it much easier for me when I'm putting the color to find and, and remember or see, see actually where the strongest highlights is, the fold is. I'm not losing my folds doing that. The first, was it just straight cerulean when you did the first wave? Yeah, yeah, yeah straight cerulean. But let's just put a bit of, uh, you know, a bit of uh, 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 like water. Don't don't make it too mm -hmm. thick. It gives it a sheen. Yeah. This is the, the you know the the satin and all of those kind of. Yeah. That's how they do it. And we're working with acrylics, so acrylics it dries fast and it dries darker, so it's not easy. It's all like this, I mean, with, with um, velvet and satin and all of that, they, it's just a matter of knowing where to put that sheen, where to put that highlight.
we really don't we really don't have to do anything else i mean the blue is dark it's exactly what it's supposed to be dark the areas where it's supposed to be dark and then we highlighted where the folds are the shiny part the part that's catching the light The dots you said were purple? What color? Yeah, purple, purple here in between the white. Put, well, you, you could put a, just a, you know, a line of purple in here and then... Put, use ultramarine violet or do you use... No, I just mixed the blue and the red that I have here okay. with white. That's, I didn't uh, put any ultramarine violet. I'm going to do the same with red, or do you want to keep it just like that? You've got some red? Yeah, I think a little bit of red would be good. Yeah, okay. So same thing, it's a glaze. It's a red, but it's a glaze. Same red, cadmium red medium, but just a glaze. And let's go in. Thank you. 
It will turn it into a pink, but that's okay. I'd rather not have a strong red in there where I want to highlight. Yeah, highlight. I don't want an orange red. So you're doing the same thing with the white then, eh? Yeah, yeah I'm just adding white to my red and then I'm just highlighting um, in these areas where it's there's a, a strong red. Now, because red is stronger than blue, it shows more. I might go back and enhance the blue if I find that the red is taking over and it's making, you know, it, I can't see the blue anymore and the blue is disappearing. Um, and then I'll, I'll go back and just kind of highlight the blue a little bit more. But it's the same idea. Same, same, same thing. So I'm going to take, I think, I think I need to do enhance, like make the blue a little bit lighter than what it is right now, especially because the red is right next to it. So I'm going to kind of put some... And this is not a glaze. This is like strong blue. Okay, kind of acrylic dries darker too, so I want to enhance a bit. I need to wait for it to dry. Go back and fix it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I'm going to put those tassels on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take red and put some white in my red, not too much. I think I'm not this one. And let's see, maybe I should change my brush, smaller round brush. I know it's not there in the picture, in the reference, but I'm gonna put it there. So are you combining the blue and the... Uh... For the tassels? Yes. No, no, just red and white. Oh, red and white. Darken my red a bit for the other side, for this side. I'm putting a bit of brown in my like raw umber. I just have a, I have a bit of raw umber here. Just gonna put a red and raw umber. To make them look like 3D, try to put that raw umber on one side, the side where it's darker. Oh, that looks too too dark in the in the um, on the screen. Hold on, don't, don't, don't go that dark. It's not that dark in here. This side, which is it's looking more light, one side is lighter, and the other side is slightly darker. You could you could do it in dark first, and then if it's easier, dark first, like uh, raw umber and let's say put some raw umber in the pink, put it all over if it's easier. And then and then highlight one side. Highlight the side where it's catching light. How big this one? Get thinner. Take again, red and white. Tiny bit on one side. Highlight. This is, this part here is where the light is. The sun hitting this ball. This is so tiny. Mm. 
and keep the ones in the back dark. Well, we can add some more dots in there, like white or, or off-white dots in between, or just leave it like that. You really don't touch it. Oh, I like those purple things that I put in there. Put them in blue. And we're done with this. Um,
I am really proud of myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, I'm really proud of myself. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see it. Let's right, I'm going to stop recording. Okay, so this is how it's supposed to look. It's done. Um, this is the last part.